that we are saying we are not with our best yet, because we need to go further than where we are today. We'd like this to be evident by all other African national societies, so that we can be able to be able to sustain ourselves. We should be national societies, where in our own countries, where our partners also from within or from without would like to partner with us before they move to somebody else. That is the essence of um, why we form the network itself. Not to ask, I say, make a workshop to declare the picture you open. Really, I want to appreciate the hospitality I received from the Kenya Red Cross and the management, particularly that we were well received by the member of the board, which is quite encouraging. I think basically, for me, I think having had the SGS order done in the South African Red Cross, um, the areas of weaknesses, okay, maybe I'll call them gaps, um, and I'm mentioning weaknesses in terms of where we end some law marks uh, from our audit report. I would expect that after this training, those gaps can be addressed and we know how to move forward and how we can improve um, in our next audit when it happens. Listen, that we are going to benefit a lot from this workshop. How we're going to practice well, um, and how can we improve our uh, performance? And um, I expect uh, to, to this workshop to focus on integrity management. Say so this approach of NEPAC to us as national societies is something that I would call homebrew. That is something that you can take the concepts because they are practicable and they are relevant to our different national societies. So my expectations are that, as a message from members of the board who officially opened the session today, is that we look at ourselves how we are performing. Where are our weak areas? Where are our strong points? So when I get back to the Soto Eat, to share with the members of my societies the experiences I have got from different societies. Yes. Uh... <laughs> As a member of one of the African National Societies, especially the Somali Red Crescent, I feel that this training is very important for us because my expectation uh, from this training is that I will be very familiar with how to go about audit in our branch, how to uh, open ourselves to the this kind of exercise and what are the elements needed to follow whenever you decide to follow this. So I, I feel that it will build my capacity as an OD focal point and I will use on my day-to-day -day activity. Um, and then I will also build the capacity of my branch and, and, and the people who are working under me. Uh, well, my expectation of this training, I expect at the end of the training I will be well educated, which would lead me to be much more conversant on the best practices and benchmarking. I expect that uh, it is on the financial control side that would be strengthened as well, uh, because I know what uh, to expect and uh, coming from the training, um, I know the aspects that we should focus on in order, for, in order for our compliance to be strengthened in that area of financial internal controls. I'm going to reflect what I learned here. Uh, also the Kenya Red Cross uh, XC Pyramid, especially in fundraising. I appreciate the Red uh, Cross of Kenya, which is a typical example of African countries that they can do their things on their own. I was impressed by the member of the board who said at one stage they are targeting that they can be partners or donors to our national societies. I think it's a very ambitious thinking which I think it can work out. One of the good things that we have exposed ourselves to the SGS exercise previously and uh, we really benefited from that. We, the recommendations we, we were given we try to address them one by one and we now addressing the most 
pressing issues in that recommendation. So what we are planning now is that we want to cascade things to, to the branches. We want to, to select some of our branches and then start this kind of process in the branches. It was, in the first place, we, it was the National Society as a whole, but now we want to, to also take this exercise to our branches. So maybe when I uh, complete this training, I will also train some other people in, in, the, in the headquarters and, and we, I'm going to build up a team. So we may visit uh, selected branches to start with and then and that's how we, go, we want to go about this. Um, I agree. I'm the only person who represented my national society here. And coincidentally, I happen to be the one that would implement the policies of the national society. So with this, having this background knowledge, I will go back home, uh, assemble my people, and then go through what I have uh, gone through here, see the areas of lapses and weaknesses, and then we put our heads together in order to make improvements on it, so that we should meet with the expectations of NEPAC. Um, I know the aspects that we should focus on in order, for, in order for our compliance to be strengthened in that area of financial internal control. Yes. After having left this training, I will give like a feedback to our Secretary General and I know it's always this practice. I will also sit with other heads of departments, our HR department operations in terms of programs to actually give feedback on the outcome of the training. So it will definitely be, be cascaded downwards. Like I said earlier on, Basically, there are about nine dimensions which we have benchmarked. And there are those dimensions which my society didn't do very well. This is a golden opportunity for my national society to say, where did we go wrong? Where were the weak areas? And I'm sure when I go back and I go for another benchmark exercise, I'll be able to articulate those areas I didn't do very well. And this is very relevant and very helpful for my national society to make a progression. Our aim was not to, to gain or to get certificate or whatever. Our aim was just to open ourselves, to, 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 to open our books and see how we are performing. So, so now, learning from that fact, you know, it, it's something that we need. If we want to achieve excellence, if we want to be accountable, if we want to, to compete with the market, so we need to, open our books to our stakeholders so that uh, uh, people will, will really see what we are doing. So it's a good exercise and, and, and I, something that we need it. Yeah. What we do is just to ginger up and to categorically outline area of difference and area of weaknesses. As I mentioned earlier, all depend on will, the, the, the will, having the will, interest and commitment to do. Uh, by now, I can say for Nigeria National Society, we have the will and we are committed to do it and we must do it. I will only encourage my fellow colleagues, that is uh, managers or captains of other national societies, to imbibe this culture wholeheartedly because it will not only benefit us now, it is a record which posterity will say for us. Yes. Most of our national societies do a good job but in terms of keeping the records and making sure that we follow the constitution, to me, it's a big challenge.